Hi guys, it's Betty. So I am planning to update the way that I am storing my um, MFT dies and my other smaller Sizzix um, dies and perhaps my spellbinders. I'm not sure yet how many will fit in what I'm doing, but I just wanted to show the way I'm currently storing them. Some of them are still in the pockets that they came in. Obviously these are just not organized loosely, but these are those Sizzix um, storage boxes. Um, I used to store my dies in there. Sorry, the lighting is really strange in here today. Um, I used to style, store like my bigs dies and um, just the regular dies in this storage. It comes with kind of some separators here at the bottom that you know fit those dies. Um, but I have excuse the mess here too. But um, my husband had an old dresser that. Um, which I think we need to repaint and clean, but I've been storing my dies in here because I set my Vagabond up on top of it. Um, and so that's where I've been putting them. It's just been working out better for me because I didn't have enough of these boxes anyway. And these boxes, I, were, I was going to put them in the dresser drawer and still store my dies in them, but they were too tall. So ended up setting them on this bookshelf close by and... Um, you know, have some of them just loosely stored, and then others I had gotten these on clearance, these um, quick cuts, like magnetic magnet, huh, magnetic sheets, and um, I was using that, which I kind of liked, but they're, you know, they're not real sturdy, um, and then of course I had showed in another video um, that I store my spellbinders in um, these folders, which have been working pretty well too. Um, one of my thoughts is that I'm going to use this new way as well. And then I can always reuse this book, you know, take the magnetic strip off. But I thought this would make like a great travel um, journal too, because I have all these, um, you know, different brochures for when you travel. And so I thought I could always repurpose this, um, album very easily too to change the way I'm storing my spellbinder size. So anyway just a preview and hopefully I'll be back with what I ended up doing. Um, thanks a lot. Hi guys I'm back to show you uh, my new storage solution for my MFT and paper tray ink dies. I might be using it for my spellbinders too I'm not sure yet. Um, this idea came directly from Wendy at Wendy's Creative Corner and she I will link up her information and the link to the specific video um, down below. Um, I saw Wendy show this and I thought it was a great idea and so I wanted to share it with you guys just in case you'd like to try this as well. So it is not my original idea, it does come from Wendy, so go over and show her some love. So um, what Martha Stewart now has at Staples, these Avery binders and office supplies, and, um, and they come with, um, you can... The binder is probably, like, I ordered the smaller one. I think it's, um, I don't know the exact size, but um, it is, the sheets that fit in here are about five and a half by um, eight and a half. And so um, that's the size. She does have the regular eight and a half by 11 binders, but I chose a smaller size. And then you can purchase, all the inserts are separate. So the binder... It's around $9.99 US. And then the inserts, like a pack of tabs, I think was oh, $3.99 or $4.99. And then there's a pack of inserts. Um, and what I did, and this is what Wendy had done too, so I took this idea from her, was I inserted like some recollections cardstock. And I have not yet labeled what the dies are, but, um, and I'm using one side as of right now, but you certainly could use each size, but in terms of the, you get a set of the same type of inserts, five sheets for $3.99, and, and right now through the 24th, and I will try to link this up if I can, they have a coupon where you can get $5 off of a purchase of $20 of the Martha Stewart office supplies, so I'm stocking up <laughs> while I have that coupon, plus I have Staples Rewards, so this isn't a cheap option, but I think it will be a nice long-term one. And so this is 
this is my uh, PTI die section, which is, I have some more coming, so I'm excited about that, but, um, and then I even put some of my little sizzlix sizzlets in another area, and I have plenty of room to grow in this one, which um, I'm sure I will, so, but I'll show you on my MFT dies how I'm doing it. This is probably going to be an MFT binder, but, so they have the smaller sheets, sorry for the glare here, and there are these little pockets this at the top, so I, I don't think it will be a problem with it falling out, but it has a top pocket that goes on top, or a flap that covers the opening, um, and so it does keep, you know, some of the dust and everything out of there too, so, you know, and I just put all my smaller dies in these sheets, my labels, um, banners, what I could fit in these pockets I did, and then there are the larger pockets where you can stick, um, it's two per page, so it's the page split in half, and then I, you know, put what I could in those. Um, and then, moving on, so I think Wendy was putting, like, one per um, page in hers. I had this Quick Cuts magnetic sheet, and it was maybe 12 by, oh, I'm not even sure what the measurement is, I can... They just come in like a pack of six. I got them on clearance, and that's what I was using to store them that you saw earlier in the video. So this measures four inches. So I think it was it was 12 by 4, and I just cut them down into 4 by 4 sheets, and then I can stick three of the, you know, I put the fence or the border dies in here, and it holds them in place so they're not flapping around and, and going on one another either. So I kind of like that. Um, and I may use those when I decide if I'm going to put my spellbinders in here too. So I was able to stick, you know, four on this, in this one tab. So it's kind of nice because you don't need as many of these dividers. So if you only get five in a pack, that can add up quickly too. So that was kind of my unique add to Wendy's idea. But overall, again, this is her idea, and which I love and I'm excited. Plus the binders are just pretty and, um, I'm hoping they'll be sturdy. One thing I did notice at the store, a lot of these in this color get real marked up. So as you're picking yours up, just be careful. There's, I mean, maybe you probably wipe them off, but um, a lot of them are dirty. <laughs> so um, again, I'll try to link that coupon below and I'll link to um, Wendy's video. Thanks guys. Bye.